The hospital's roof um, has been through several rounds of, of uh, uh, repair and, and addressing the, the breaches that we would have had. That, that roof was there since we built the hospital in 1964. We have addressed it on occasion, and this is now another one of those occasions where we required to, to do some remedial work to the roof repairs. That work is covering the wards A1 and A2, A3, recovery room, and over to SICU. It's being done in phases. Uh, we're about to complete the first phase, which is the um, repairs to the breaches for A1 and A2. And then we will continue once that is settled to A3. The work was slightly hampered by the um, inclement weather that we've experienced so far, and we know that we had volumes of water in the last couple of days. But we will continue to work during the non um, where there's less rain um, at this time to finish the work as soon as possible and return the, the wards back to their um, original homes. Right now, we have transferred all the patients and they are, we are housing them in other parts of the hospital so nobody is getting wet or anything. The, the areas are vacated and the work continues. We expect this work to, com to com be completed in another week and a half or so. Have the entire so, so a person may have literally seen maybe a picture or video of water literally pouring through uh, the roof. So the post of repair roof is actually, as you know, concrete roof is pretty much like a sponge that water can go through. And there are layers of different protective equipment where torch and all other things. And part of the roof repair process will involve removing all those layers of torch and all the other things that are applied over the years to go back to a very uh, uh, pr a primitive or basic concrete base which is then uh, treated with various um, sealants to cover it. So of course with this weather, our sections are being stripped and are stripped and in, in the process of being sealed, when it rains, obviously what you'll see below in the, in the, in the relevant areas that we repaired is a, an excessive leaking worse so than was um, uh, initially that we were trying to repair. And so people may have interpreted that as a worsened situation, but it's actually part of the repair process where the roof is, remain, is now exposed and remove all the protection that we have, and the rain comes, you will see it. But as Ms. Bob mentioned, we, we knew what we were repairing, the patients were located, the water relocated, while that repair has been done, and it's been done in phases. Uh, and so hopefully, at the end of the process, um, that will no longer be there.